what's up y'all this is miss kiki and i'm coming to y'all today with a quick cooking tutorial and this will be a little different for me but i thought about it because i was just thinking about video ideas and one thing that i do a lot of is cooking one thing that i really don't like to do a lot of is cooking but yeah i do it because I debate a lot with my guy and that's one thing that we always have issues with he wonders why you know we always got to eat out and why i don't cook so i have to be a little crafty as far as like coming up with some ideas as to being able to cook and make certain that um i'm able to work because sometimes i'm working eight to twelve hour shifts but I definitely just want to make certain that, you know, we're eating good and my family is taken care of. So I had to be a little crafty with some of my ideas. And I'm just going to show you guys a meal that I cook often, um, that I cook well. And that does that takes little to no effort for me to actually, you know, cook. So it's a good hearty meal, but little to no effort to cook. We're going to get started with cooking the meal that I gonna be preparing today is something that everybody more than likely already knows how to prepare but for those of you who are kind of like beginners you're just getting your first place um you're just stepping off the porch or what have you um i'll walk you through everything so the corned beef that i um the corned beef that i'm cooking has been on and it's been cooking in a crock pot for i will say the last like eight to nine hours on low heat so it should be extremely nice and tender and it's extremely easy to cook this is something that you can put on in the evening before bedtime and just let it cook throughout the night or it can be something right before work that you can actually put on and just let it cook on slow it's very safe to use a crock pot the crock pot that I have that I'm using came from Walmart. It's called the original slow cooker. It was roughly like $25 to $30. Using a slow cooker is really good because it comes in handy with making sure your meat is nice and tender, especially if you're using expensive cuts, cuts of meat. It's good also with bringing out the flavor in your meat. And it's good if you're going to be doing um, meals, soups, stews, casseroles, and um just slow cooking meat like i'm doing today so i didn't fill it up with water but i just filled it up right above the corned beef i used the packet that came inside of the corned beef it comes with its own seasoning so i just season it with the packet that came in with the corned beef and voila just let it cook slow heat for on slow heat for like 10 hours so that's that that should be done and, and ready to eat <clears throat> I just recently for an early Christmas gift got some new pans and pots and the set that I have is copper color it's extremely sturdy and durable I got it for right under I would say like a hundred dollars it come all of the um the skillets and the pots came with tops they're extremely heavy made with really good material and i love them the seasonings that i'll be using and i love to cook with minced garlic i use minced garlic in a lot of my meals by mccormick i also have black pepper i love cooking with accent definitely got to use my accent and just regular salt so those are the four ingredients that i'll be using that everyone more than likely already has um if not, they're at every local grocery store. I also normally cook with a lot of like herbs, but I won't be using any herbs in my cabbage. I also have one large onion, one large cabbage that I'm going to chop up on my cutting board and clean really well and drain. And I have croissant rolls. Who's not going to want to finish it off with a little bread? Especially if you have a um, fat family like mine. They're definitely going to want to eat bread. I have my um, large wooden spoon that I use to cook with. And that's about it. I'm pretty certain that most of you ladies already have these items. If not, everything that I have here more than likely came from Target or Walmart. 
All right, let's get started with chopping up the cabbage, getting that sauteed up, putting the biscuits on, and I don't want my cabbage to be too greasy. And just a small amount of oil. So you're sauteing it, you're not saturating it in oil. Just gonna add my onions. And I'm going to add my cabbage in and get it seasoned. Definitely I'll make my dish water to make sure that I am cleaning up as I go. Once again, at the end, I don't want anything to clean. I want to relax. Chillax, not trying to come back in the kitchen and clean anything up at all. So delicious and good for you you want to make sure you season the cabbage to your liking just taste it once it's ready to be tasted of course um, and if you don't like it if it's not seasoned well enough you can always add additional seasons always season your food to your liking like a lot of salt throw a lot of salt in it cover it up and just let it continue to cook on low heat until it's soft to your, your liking and season um, how you like it. And that's it. Cabbage is pretty simple. Have my rolls in the oven, cabbage on the stove, corned beef done. I'm almost ready to eat. Gotta wash your food down with a nice cold drink. Mmm, mmm, mmm. The corned beef is so tender. The cabbage is seasoned so good. All right, time to smash. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Thank you for tuning in. Comment below if you're gonna make this meal 
and if you made this meal let me know how it turned out until the next video this is miss kiki and much love